guys, welcome to weekly technical forex forecast for the 23rd, 27th of October. My name is Andrew Shinesky, I'm a technical analyst at TrueFix and tradition we will begin our forecast with the EURUSD currency pair. Well, despite the strong fall of the price on Friday, the pair is still locked in the global consolidation between two strong levels. The first one is the resistance 1.1870, the second one is the support 1.1680. 1.1699. If we take a look at our wall chart, here we can see that uh, volume is spread uh, throughout the move. So first of, uh, at first we uh, we had a strong growth of the price, then strong fall of the price, and overall you see that it's some kind of zigzag right now. Uh, but unfortunately, given that volume is small, uh, we can't point out any new specific volume level so the uh, our previous scenario remains the same we can and should trade this currency pair only after the breakout of one of these levels so only after that we can consider opening new deals the move should be sharp it should be supported by large volume it will be a more accurate signal uh, for entering the market until that while the price is trading in this range we should stay out of the market the pound Situation here is uh, pretty similar to the euro situation. We see that the price is locked between two strong volume levels, so it's some kind of consolidation right now. Also, we need to point out that uh, a large volume is concentrated in this range, so the best option will be waiting for the exit of the price from the range, and only after that we can consider opening new positions for this until that it's better just to skip this instrument from trading plan the yen uh, we have a pretty interesting situation here last uh, at the end of last week the price uh, grew up strongly it broke out the previous level of resistance and the upper uh, limit of the consolidation so given all these facts we should consider exceptionally long positions for this currency pair we should open uh, long positions after the resumption of the growth of the price on increased volume perfectly if the price corrects down smoothly and then uh, we see uh, we see a strong growth of the price a strong bullish impulse in such case we enter the market open long positions a stop loss should be placed here at the level uh, 113.05 a potential the deal is around 110 pips so for the yen long positions should be in priority the Canadian dollar. The price grew up strongly on really huge volume uh, on Friday. Also, we need to point out the new support level which was created during this move. It's 1.2558, 1.2570. So, given such a strong bullish impulse, we should consider long positions. We should enter the market after the smooth downward correction of the price. The correction should be on small volume. So, in such case, we can consider it as a technical correction not a reversal signal or some bearish impulse uh, then we open long positions and wait for further growth of the price a stop loss should be placed below the support we need to get uh, to wait for such a correction in order to obtain a better entry point and of course a better risk profit ratio a potential the deal is up to 140 pips so for the canadian dollar long positions are in priority the australian dollar the price fell down strongly on friday it broke down the previous lock, uh, local minimum and the lower boundary of the local consolidation. So now we should give preference to short positions. We can enter the market after the resumption of the fall on increased volume. It's very important condition. Then we open short positions. A stop loss should be placed about the beginning of the abrupt fall at, uh, at the target of this position is 0 0.7754 it's a local support it's a lower boundary of the global consolidation for this kind of pair so for the Australian dollar short positions should be in priority and our last instrument is gold the price showed a significant fall on Friday so it uh, it has totally absorbed the previous growth of the price so given such fact uh, and the fact that the price didn't show any significant reaction on the level of support 1277.40 and now is trading uh, near this level 
we should give preference to short positions and we should consider the scenario of the breakdown of this level which will open a way down for the price of course in such a case we should open short positions a stop loss should be placed above the breakdown volume bar and of course the breakdown should be supported by increased or large volume which will be a more accurate signal and safe signal for entering the market a potential of the deal is up to 150 pips so for gold short positions after the confident breakdown of the level of support let's take a look at the sentiment of the market well here we can see that our scenarios for the euro or sorry for the yen for the canadian and australian dollars and for gold are confirmed for the pound and for the euro you see that this indicator is almost equal well it's uh, nothing strange here because these two kinds of pairs are trading in consolidations so overall we have a couple of good scenarios they are for long positions for the yen and long positions for the canadian dollar uh, also pretty interesting scenarios for gold and for the australian dollars for the pound and for the euro we should wait for the exit of the price from ranges so overall for today's all thank you guys for watching hope this forecast will be useful for you see you bye bye